Hi, this is David, technical trainer for Roboutique, and today I want to tell you about approach angles while palletizing. So if you've used any of our solutions yet, you know that the boxes do not, are not placed on the pallet in a straight line, but they rather come in at an angle, and this is to avoid collisions with existing boxes on the pallet. So this angle has a default value, and it's angle-based, right? So the actual distance, the absolute value of the distance between the existing box and the coming box is a ratio of the height. So this can be problematic if you're looking at parts that are, or boxes that are very, um, that have a very small height, so very small, or if they're not exactly square, and we know that this happens, right? So this is why we have um, created a new feature that allows you to change not the angle, but the actual approach a distance as an absolute distance, as a gap. This option is called set target gap. You will find it in the settings menu of the palletizer node. And you can enter an actual value in distance that you want to see between the coming boxes and the existing box on the pallet. Now you want to give it enough room to avoid any uh, collision scenario, but you still want to keep that value at a reasonable, um, reasonable value um, because the gap that you require okay, will actually reflect around the pallet because the robot needs to reach that space before entering the final destination. So the bigger the gap, the bigger the, odd, the odds of hitting a, another obstacle or creating another collision in the cell, um, typically with the conveyor. So you can also measure what distance you have around the pallet, or you can go with trials and errors. You can try and see what is the worst box that you see on the, in, in production and try to find a reasonable value around that, okay? So here, in this example, we see that this first box is placed with the default value, and that other one that you see right there is with a modified enhanced uh, gap between the coming box and the existing one. All right, so it's as simple as that. I hope you're happy with that new feature. Um, let's hope you don't need it, but if you do, now know that it's easy to use. So feel free to go and experiment, try it, and tell us what you think.